Okay guys, we are into quarter two, we are flying, and so is 2017. Before we know it, we're gonna be having Christmas dinner. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me ask you a question. How is 2017 working out for you right now? Is it working out? Are you in momentum, or do you feel like maybe you've lost momentum? You see, right now, what I would do in your business, you start to ask yourself a couple of questions. Sort of like, think about, okay, what have been some of my strengths so far in the first quarter? Has it been door knocking? Was it your lifting presentation? Were you disciplined? Were you consistent? Write it down. The second question I want you to ask is, what are your weaknesses in your business? So for some agents, I've been sitting down and working out a plan of working out, what are some of the weaknesses right now that are occurring in their business? And it could be they're not consistent, they're not committed, like really starting to define parts of the business that they need to work on. Once you've identified your weaknesses, you need to understand and work out how you're gonna turn these around. So match the weaknesses with how you're gonna turn that around. And then the strengths is how do you build on this? Because when we get momentum, guess what happens? We get complacent. Have you been there, Tom? Have you ever got complacent? <laughs> yeah, he's shaking his head. Sometimes we get less romantic with our business and we start to basically plateau. And as we plateau, guess what happens? We rest on our laurels. And before you know it, three months, six months goes by and guess what happens? everything stops. Why? Because you stopped, Tom, that's exactly right. You stopped doing the things that got you into momentum. So this is a great time right now to understand where your business is right now. The beautiful thing is we live in so many 90-day cycles, you know, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and you can always start from zero in the new quarter. And the new quarter always brings a new set of levels of growth that you can bring to your business to your relationships, to basically your health, anywhere you want to get to. So I want you to write those down. The other bits that I want you to write down for this quarter going into Q2 is what are the top 10 actions or ideas that you want to implement into your business? You see, one of the things that I do know is if you're not evolving, you're definitely not going to be growing. And we've got some great videos coming up around social media with Clinton from sprinkler.media. So if you want to sort of check him out before we set, release the videos, have a look at what he does. If you're not moving that needle, that might be an action or an idea that you want to implement in quarter two. There could be other things that you may want to be implementing this quarter. Start working them out, write them up, and put them and make it a visual. You see, at home, I've got a home office, which I'm lucky to have, but I've got it very clear exactly what are my goals, what do I want to achieve this year? Where am I currently at? What are some of the new ideas and actions that I want to implement? All of these things are visual. Why? Because 30% of our brain is visual. And when we look at it each day, it reminds us, ah, that's what I need to work on. Ah, that's what I'm going to implement. So start thinking about quarter two to make this your best quarter ever and ensure that you stay on this train of momentum.